Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Sherry Vans. Justin Smith here, gonna highlight a new arrival. Guys, this van just actually came in, so it could use a good little bath, but I wanted to get it out there and show you what just arrived, and I can assure you our detail part, uh, department will get this thing looking as close to new as possible. But again, wanted to get it out there for you. Again, new arrival. 2014 GMC Savannah 1500 YF7 chassis raised roof seven passenger van. Now these are coming becoming harder and harder to find with each day that goes by because 2014 was the last year that General Motors made the half ton. So it's the last year you get doors on both sides for rear entry in this van. I'll tell you, and this is done in one of my favorite colors that GM offered and it's a cyber gray metallic and it's just absolutely gorgeous, especially uh, on a non-overcast day. A little overcast here in Ohio today, but uh, when the sun's out, this thing really pops. 20 inch chrome wheels, uh, brand new Michelin Defender tires all the way around. One of the best tires in the industry. Full medallion ground effects, and there you can see we have driver's door, or entry doors and extra doors on the driver's side and over here on the passenger side as well but uh, at the back of the van i like to go over some of the safety features all these gmc's and chevrolets have to offer starting off with the rear backup camera just to the left bottom corner of the license plate and you guys already know how that works as soon as you put the vehicle in reverse you're going to get a color visual in your mirror on this van of whatever's behind you and if you happen to not be paying attention to that don't worry we got the factory backup sensors they're going to scream at you and let you know hey, stop, something's behind you. So that's a great safety feature. Also, this van does have GM's uh, famous Stabilo track, anti-lock brakes, and traction control. Now, this van does come with the factory uh, tow receiver, does have the four pin flat and the seven pin connector. Also, because it is a factory tow package, it does have the tow haul button located on the dash, and which is, you should always use if you hook a trailer up to that, because it can change your shift points um, and uh, not not allow you to do any damage to the transmission. Now this van can safely tow up to 7,200 pounds, so it can definitely get the job done. So let's dive into the back and go over some of the features inside this van. And again, guys, if you pick up on any of this dirt, I do apologize, we will get it cleaned. Uh, one thing I wanna point out, right here on the passenger armrest, guys, you can see we do have a little bit of damage here and that is this trim piece that goes right there. So we will have that all buttoned up for you, whoever purchased this van, um, before we uh, do deliver it. So we have a two-tone interior in this, guys. It's a gray leather with a blue insert on all the captain's chairs, even the front two as well. We do have privacy shades. As you can see, I have one down here for all the rear windows in the back, okay? This van does feature overhead storage which there's five of those compartments in this van. Um, you're not gonna get a lot of stuff up there, but I'll tell you, it just helps you keep the clutter off the floor. Remotes, DVDs, uh, small umbrella throw, whatever. Just a nice feature to keep that stuff off the floor. Now, above the rear sofa, we do have a fully functional power sunroof with controls in the back, and that will open up just like any sunroof in any car, fully power. I do have the sunshade down right now, so we don't get much glare in here, um, and that's a nice feature to keep the sun off you. Now, the rear sofa in the back is uh, designed for seating for three. It is a fully powered rear sofa, so it'll slide forward and back and completely fold flat, okay? Now, as far as charging goes back here, each side of the sofa has dual USB charging ports. So, no excuse to have a dead device in the back of this fan. Heck, anywhere in this fan, there's charging ports all over the place. <clears throat> now, these captain chairs right here, will uh, slide forward and back and do a 180 degree swivel plus completely recline. Now these chairs have the built-in tether hooks right down here and the anchors on the back side to safely secure any child seat. Now as far as entertainment goes, this van does feature a 32 inch, there we go, Samsung smart television, okay? Now it does have Clarion, uh, surround sound speakers in the back you see the two located beside the tv and there's two in the rear deck by the rear storage so you will get that true movie theater experience while watching a dvd or anything that uh, you like on this television and that tv is paired up to this panasonic smart blu-ray player 
Now this is what Explorer calls their gaming console. So it does have an HDMI input and a 110 plug-in. So guys, anything that uses HDMI connectivity, no problem to utilize that with the televisions. Maybe a gaming system, maybe you got videos on or movies on a laptop, a tablet, anything that you connect into that HDMI source, change the source on the television and you're rocking and rolling. Now this van does have a TV speaker switch. As I mentioned, it does have the rear surround sound speakers. Um, most of the time, you're probably not gonna use those. Um, so to turn the rear surround sound off, you just simply click that off and all your audio that is displaying on this 29 inch TV is gonna go directly to the wireless headphones. There's two wireless headphones provided for this van. If you would like to have more, those can be ordered at a later date. But this van, um, from the factory only came with two now as far as rear heat, and air, rear heat and air controls go Sorry guys a little tongue-tied. Here's the controls for the rear passengers to adjust their rear climate um, Now that wraps up the back of this van. Let's go ahead and jump up into the front And we'll go over the front of the van All right, guys, same nice captain chairs up here in the front of the van as the ones I was just sitting in in the back. Now these are on an eight-way adjustable pedestal, okay? And do even feature power recline. Now, as far as heat goes, we got you covered there. Both seats up in the front do have heated seats, as you see, I just turned on there, and a power lumbar control. In this console, you will notice there is a cooler does have a re removable liner as you can see there to be able to dump out all your water fit about a six pack in there um, the beverages not a problem does have a small little glove box here uh, directly below the radio and directly below these three beverage holders right here now this radio in this van is an AM FM satellite capable CD uh, radio system and as I mentioned the backup camera image is gonna show up right there in your rear view mirror. I actually like that setup better than having it down here in the navigation screen because honestly, when you're backing a vehicle up, you're looking there and over there and over there to that mirror, hopefully, right? Not down here at your screen. Um, <clears throat> so that's how that works. As far as the climate control goes in the front of the van, you've got three rotary dials directly above the radio, very self-explanatory, easy to use and easy to reach. Here's your tow haul button I mentioned when I was in the back of the van. That's what you want to push in when you hook a trailer up. Now, <laughs> this van does have 56,443 uh, miles on it. It is a 5.3 liter v V8 motor. A lot of you are familiar with it. That motor's been around for a long time. 300,000 miles is not a problem out of a van like this if you take care of it. Nice leather wrapped steering wheel with controls on both sides of the airbag. The ones over here on the left side, those are gonna be the controls for your cruise control. And these over here are gonna be all your Bluetooth hands-free controls. You can do a lot of things. Pair your phone to the Bluetooth system. You can make phone calls, answer phone calls with all these controls without taking your hand off the steering wheel. Even uh, make adjustments in your radio, change source from AM, FM, satellite to CD right there. Um, channel up and down and then volume up and down. It is a fully tilt column, okay, which is very nice. Makes it easy to find that comfortable position. And as far as power equipment goes up in the front of this van, it's got it all, guys. Auto power windows over here on the driver's side door. Here's your power window switch for the passenger side. And then here's your power mirror switch as well. Keyless uh, entry, power locks obviously for all the doors and remote start from the factory. Um, obviously cruise control and um, I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, as far as charging ports go up in the front of the van, uh, you got your standard 12 volt DC over here, a USB over here for the front passenger and then another 12 volt as well. So like I mentioned earlier, no reason to, to have a dead device in this van. And that pretty much wraps up this 2014 half ton, 135 inch wheelbase, YF7 chassis, raised roof, 
seven passenger Explorer conversion van. Now this is a, X, a limited XSE. A lot of you already know if you've done your research, that's Explorer's top of the line package. And I tell you, this Cybergrade does not disappoint. Again, 54,000 miles on this van, a lot of life left. Stay tuned for updated pictures once we get this van detailed. If you got any questions on this van that I didn't go over, I try to keep these videos around 10 minutes or less. Um, sometimes I get a little carried away. Please don't hesitate to call again, Justin Smith. And guys, we offer delivery service anywhere in the United States. So if you're just now figuring out that we're in Ohio and you're in Texas, please give us a call. You'd be surprised how cheap we can get any of these vans, as you see here, from our store to your door, 50 conversion vans in stock. Nobody else has any more vans in the country than sherryvans.com. I appreciate your time. We'll talk to you soon here at Sherry Vans.